Hey guys, what's up? Nev here, and this is Voice and Three. Doctor Ratsinski. Uh, hope handing that Reed boy over to the marshals doesn't make trouble for us. His family's well connected. Now, what can I help you with? Any time, Rangers. Always happy to tell. I'll be here. It's great to be here, Rangers. I love what you've done with the place. Now, what can I do for you? Wonderfully. Thank you for asking. Your staff is so accommodating. Kind of sounds... Meh? That's what I'm here for. How can I help? That's an easy one. Do exactly what he says. Capture and hold his three rebellious offspring. And do it as swiftly and quietly as you can without causing them any harm. I wouldn't say Sal loves his children, with the possible exception of Liberty, but he does consider them his to deal with. So, if you manhandle them or, God forbid, kill them, he will not be pleased, and your reward will be in jeopardy. Treat them with kid gloves, Rangers. Kid gloves. Why would you want to? The man is a thug and corrupter and should have no place in this city. They are fools, but unfortunately, because they own Colorado's only oil fields, we have to suffer with them. They worship a dead president as a god and walk around talking and acting like they were cowboys out of a child's picture book of the Old West. Ridiculous people. Saul should have dealt with them years ago. Despite the Patriarch's belief that he built Colorado on his own, he couldn't have done it without the support of the Hundred Families. He protects us, true, but without our money, He'd be protecting us with sticks and stones, not tanks and guns. We are the money and the power here, and the keepers of the values of our survivalist forebears. Strong alone, but stronger together, like the mountains. Anyone who intends to rule here would have to appease the families first. Mm. A regrettable byproduct of difficult times. I wish them well, but I'd advise you not to waste resources on them. They come and go and won't be able to assist with your ambitions. Uh, well. Go on, Mr. Reyes. I can take it. <laughs> uh, if you insist, Marshal Kwan. The Marshals are our police force here in Colorado Springs, but let's say their focus isn't so much on solving crime as deterring it. Most problems are dealt with using the gun and the boot, rarely the head. <laughs> They're also known to look the other way if enough money changes hands. Therefore, this is a town where help from the Marshals is for those who can pay for it. Those who can't, fear them. Was that a fair assessment, Marshal Kwong? Uh, um... Certainly. I'm honored that you value my opinion. Go on. Safe travels, Rangers. It's unfortunate you had to house the refugees in your brig. At least it'll be familiar to them. Now, 
What can I do for you? Who are you interested in? He is everything you have ever been told about him and more. A man who built a state with nothing but his bare hands and brute will. Even in his current state, he is dangerous. Indeed, I'd argue he's more dangerous now than he was in his youth. Probably less careless, more careful, more thinking. It's... A man no. who is terrified of losing his place in the world will do anything to keep it. Anything. I... I loved him once. Worshipped him. Now I just fear him. Fear what he could do to Colorado if he continues to unravel. Who else are you interested in? Stay away from him if you can. Victory Buchanan isn't sane. He's a spoiled, homicidal brat who needs to be put down like a rabid dog. Uh, not that I would condone murder, Marshal. No, of course not. That would be illegal. Forgive me. I shouldn't have... Uh, just be careful. That's all I'm saying. People who spend too much time in Victory's presence don't live long. Who else are you interested in? Looks like the game makes you lean toward the patriarch, and that's actually where I'm leaning towards too. But there's also Angela Death. There's also Liberty, the cannon. So you can take different sides, different factions, but the ending can split thinking to three, maximum four main endings. Yeah. I've always felt a bit sorry for Valor. Book smart and quiet in a family where neither of those things were valued. But he grew up a peevish young man, always alert to slights, whether real or imagined. He ended up believing he was better than everyone else because he was misunderstood. And that's why he stays with the Gippers, I think. They understand him. Or at least pretend to. Who else are you interested in? She was a terrifying little girl and grew up to be a terrifying woman. I have never known anyone so able to focus or so certain of their path. She believes she is destined to rule Colorado and will not stop until she succeeds. But if she succeeds, ooh, woe to us all. Colorado will become a war machine and all us citizens merely fuel for its ever grinding engines. Who else are you interested in? That's the thing with Liberty. I mean, yeah, the Patriarch is a dictator, but he keeps things in balance, right? <laughs> well, Reyes? <laughs> <laughs> you can say that again. Who else are you interested in? I just clicked somewhere. <laughs> well, Reyes? I'm seeing a click. Uh, well. I would say Sheriff Daisy is a woman to be both admired and feared. She is fair, but doesn't forget. And she is slow to forgive. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. Who else are you interested in? I wish that man had never come here. His legitimate business is the Little Vegas, a casino and brothel downtown. But he also runs a criminal empire, selling drugs, weapons, and information to anyone who can pay, including our enemies. I think the Patriarch allowed him to stay because he thought the people needed entertainment. But the Little Vegas hardly qualifies. It's a lurid pit of lost wages and despair. Disgusting. As for the man himself, he wears all the trappings of class. Fine suits, shoes, jewelry. 
but he's a thug at heart, no matter how hard he tries to hide it. Who else are you interested in? Certainly. That's what I'm here for. How can I help? Sadly, I don't think a peaceful transition is possible anymore, Rangers. Your support of Farron Brago really angered Sheriff Daisy. You might win her back to your side, but it would take years. Far longer than the time frame we'd need for a smooth transition. I'm afraid I have no suggestions for what other course of action you might take now. And honestly, I don't think I want to hear your plans. But... I will still make myself a... That's what I'm here for. How can I help? Certainly. So if I were supposed to take Angela Death's side, I've gotten rid of Brian Fargo. Did I get his name right? Just Brago, sorry. Brago. Hmm. Safe travels, Rangers. Okay, so that's what they have in the war room. Um, I don't even know where the brig is. Is it here? It's a museum. Don't worry about me. I can lick my way to wildcats. nothing wrong and you know it i know you did what you did with the best of intentions but it still broke the laws of colorado yeah and what else could i have done you could have asked for assistance gone through proper channels and what channels would those be Maybe right. i'm gonna end the video here i'm gonna talk to mama cotter here at the ranger hq it's part of the game i need to talk to them yes Right, so that's the war room. Um, you can like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll just see you in the next one. So, thank you.